forecasters are predicting up to six major hurricanes this season. We are turning to David Maurestad, Senior Executive at the National Flood Insurance Program with us now. And David, what can you tell us about hurricane season? Well, NOAA predicts uh, above average season, uh, 19 potential named storms. I, I think, quite frankly, that people uh, shouldn't necessarily be surprised or key so much into the prediction, but just understand that the last 20 years have shown us that they're having more frequent storms and that they're more severe. And so uh, the idea that this isn't going to happen uh, is, uh, shouldn't, be, shouldn't be held on to. We need to accept that we have a hurricane flood risk and then take the right steps to prepare for those events. David, how can a person determine their flood risk? Everyone needs flood insurance, quite frankly. Where it can rain, it can flood. 98% of the counties in the United States have had a flood event. So we have to accept that we have a flood risk, just like we have a wind risk, a fire risk, and other types of, of risks. And then when we can accept that, then we can go about making sure that we have the right flood insurance protection so that when that event uh, strikes our home, our small business, that we have the financial resources to get back on our feet and, and recover. Many people may be unaware. I would say that unfortunately, there's an underappreciation for flood risk in our, in our country. That's why we're trying to do everything we can uh, to work with local officials, state officials, academic, uh, to make sure that people understand that flood risk is real. If you look at, again, the past 15 years and the number of major flood, uh, flood events that have occurred across the entire United States, it's not if it's going to flood, it's when it's going to flood. So we need to take mitigation steps to reduce the potential damage when that event happens. And then when the event goes beyond the mitigation steps that we've taken, to make sure that we have the insurance protection to make sure that we can, that we can re recover and not adversely impact our family or our, or our business. What do people know about picking flood insurance policies and what is covered and what is not covered? Well, most importantly, they need to understand that flood, flood coverage, uh, the flood peril is not covered under their homeowner or small business policy. So uh, they need to talk to their insurance agent, their insurance company representative, understand there's a 30 day waiting period for most policies go into effect. And so don't, don't delay and get the right coverage that you need. You have to buy a policy for your dwelling, uh, buy a policy for your contents in your dwelling. And then if you're a renter, don't, you know, renters are subject to flood, of, flood events also, they need to buy coverage to protect uh, their belongings in their, in their apartment or, their, or the home that they're, they're renting. So it's very important uh, to, to take the steps, buy the coverage, have the peace of mind for when that flood event occurs that you're going to be able to get back on your feet. Thank you so much for coming on our show. Thank you. More Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.